As you can see, I have Odor So injected into Minecraft. In this case, I'm using the latest available version. As Minecraft updates, Odor So will update as well. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you exactly all the ins and outs of using Odor So Client. If you want the download link, then that is going to be down in the description below. Anyways, to get started, as you can see, I have loaded into a world over here, and you can press on the button L on your keyboard, and that is going to open up this area, which is also known as the Click GUI. This basically contains all of the utilities that Odorso has, as you can see, there is quite a lot of them. Anyways, in this area, you can click on this red bit, and that is going to enable the utility. You can click on it once again, and that is going to turn it off. If you click on the general area, then you'll get a customization menu. As you can see, this customization menu doesn't have so much things, but all of these utilities will have unique customization menus that, well, as you can see, some of them have a lot more. Now, um, hovering above all these utilities is actually going to give you a description of exactly what they do as well, which is, of course, pretty useful, especially if you're slightly inexperienced with some of these clients. And you can also press on this star over here, and that is going to go ahead and pin the specific utility to the top over here. And um, that's quite useful if you use certain things a lot, because as you guys can see, the list is quite long. Uh, if you want to customize this area directly, then you can go over to the Click GUI utility and you can customize that right through there, including the key. As you can see, as I said, it's L, but you can change that to anything if you want. Talking about keybinds, one thing almost all of the customization menus allow you to do is to set a keybind, which is an incredibly useful thing. Uh, we can simply click on that and then press on any key we want, and then that is going to be set it as a click bind. Anyways, for the rest, this client also has a search bar over here if you want to look for something specific. Over on the left hand side, you'll actually notice a few more things. There is a config manager over here that allows you to create, manage, um, and use configs. Configs basically save all of the data you have set in these utilities and in their customization menus. Um, and so you can create different configs for specific different um, situations, or you can even share configs with friends. Uh, to download or upload your configs, you can copy the client path which um as you can see there's a little description of exactly how to use that but either way it'll copy the client path to your clipboard and that is the location where these um configs are going to be stored as well for the rest over here there is some more general client settings as you can see and there's a h2d editor which i'll get to right now so some of these utilities are going to be things that show up on your screen as a part of your h2d um basically right now the only thing in my h2d is the um the little bar down at the bottom my hot bar uh, but you can add things to that with odor so um let's see for example there's a clock over here and that is going to display the time and coordinates as well which are going to display my coordinates as you can see they're both down there right now um those locations are fine, I guess, but going into here and then going into the HUD editor, that allows you to, well, basically move these around to wherever you want. As you can see, there is a few small snapping lines, um, and they will also snap to the sides of your screen. So maybe I want my coordinates up there, and I want my clock to be right underneath that. I don't know. Looks good to me, right? And of course, you can customize that however you want. For the rest, with the things that do show up on your screen, you can actually enter into their customization menus and you'll get a little preview of what they look like over here and then you can actually customize this. So maybe I want the background to be completely transparent, then I can click on save and now as you can see the background of that is going to be transparent. Um, so that's obviously fantastic, right? So in these customization menus, um, you can well customize how these things look completely so I can save both of those things like that and now they don't have the purple backgrounds anymore which um they, they weren't that pretty in my opinion but oh well for the rest uh, Odorso client also actually supports commands instead of starting with the slash which regular commands start with these start with a dot you can type dot help in chat and that's going to give you a list of all of the commands as well as what they do as you can see over here there is quite a lot of them a lot of these have to do with either the commands themselves general client functions um, or the configs. Configs, as you can see, are often managed with commands as well. A useful command, for example, is dot seed. I can type that in chat and then um, order so client prints out the exact seed of the world. Anyways, um, right now that was basically that in terms of the client. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory 
at least a lot of it should kind of be. Um, anyways, one thing I do definitely recommend you all to take a look at is the zoom. Uh, you can set a key to this. I highly recommend setting C to it as that is the default Optifine zoom key as well. You can customize this over here. As you can see, it does have an animation as well as that you can turn up the strength if you want to. But we can turn this on and off. And as you can see, that's going to allow us to zoom in and out inside of Minecraft over here, which is um, an incredibly useful thing. And uh, I love it when clients allow you to do that. Anyways, for right now, as I said, that was basically that. If you have any questions or the like, do of course feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.